Hey collectors, Anthony from MastersNet here and today we're looking at the newest wave of Dragon Ball Evolve featuring Dragon Ball Super Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and Vegeta. And as you see, they're standing up here, I'm going to go through, frankly, um, I'm surprised, one, that uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku didn't cost more than the other two. But I also see maybe they're like, well, you know, you can't stand up straight, so, you know, probably should have given him a hair stand, I don't know. Anyway, before we look at these guys, let's quickly look at the boxes. And uh, this is the back of the box. Uh, it's more or less uh, the same on the entirety of the boxes. So, like, um, they didn't vary it up like they kind of do for the Naruto. Uh, so, um, you know, just basically the same thing with the blister on it. And, uh, and then here's the final one. Because I started to mix it up, but I feel like they were kind of like, just let's get this out the door. You know, we we'll use the same pattern, throw the same image in the background, stock it up, and call it a day. Uh, they look pretty good. So far, nobody's fallen apart on me, but as I'd mentioned, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's hair is kind of just heavy. I am going to move the other two back, and we're just going to look at Super Saiyan 3 Goku first, because I know he's going to want to fall. And um, he is top-heavy, obviously, and he has a five-head as the kids call it. And, uh... Camera doesn't like it that close, but, uh... I mean, it's nice. He's as detailed as the other ones are. Uh, some colors are a little darker, like on the, the leg here. Um, I get, I get the gi changing colors in Super Saiyan, the reflected change in Super Saiyan coloring, but, uh... Yeah, his head is, um... First off, it's sharp. And second, it is just, it is, the, wait, like, I'm going to stand him up straight. <laughs> he does not stand up straight. Um, let's, see, let's see if I can. Oh, actually, I can stand up straight if I do this. Let's see. I'm going to, because it looks like he's, his waist is bowing forwards, which is not a real, like, I don't know, a lot of people don't stand that way. Um, kind of like his head has to be tilted down. Oh, I can get him kind of like this. Okay, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Um, it's just, it's nice to represent Super Saiyan 3. I never expected it because of how much there has to be in here. I don't know if he's hollow inside or something, but um, it is a lot of translucent plastic. Uh, you can, or maybe it's not translucent, you just, like, it looks like you kind of can see through it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, arms are on a ball. Well, actually, pretty much everything is on a ball joint. Uh, upper arm rotation. Uh, bend at the elbow and then wrist uh, rotation and it bends. So that's great. And surprisingly, this didn't burden him. So he has full artic like his head still moves. No up and down, but he can still left right up until where his hair gets in the way. Um, he has the legs like this. Uh, back, forward, front, side to side. Uh, and then, of course, a knee bend. And he is squeaky. Uh, toe up and down. And then he can swivel it. So, and then there's a side to side. So, pretty good. Articulation is decent. Um, I'm happy they did Super Saiyan 3, but I'm like, what I would like to see, hopefully, if they don't deviate from Vegeta and Goku in the next wave, maybe a Super Vegeta, because he's all bulked. But then in that case, do a Super Trunks, because that would be nifty too. Speaking of Vegeta, um, basically the same mold as the other ones. Um, him and Goku, there really isn't too much different. I mean, you, if you didn't know, you would, you know, obviously the short being turned off, you, you would swear the um, unmastered Ultra Instinct that Goku has in the other form is the same one, uh, except a little bit of silver eyeliner, I guess. But anyway, Vegeta. So, yeah, um, just as detailed as the rest. Uh, he also has uh, everything ball jointed, upper rotation here, bend at the elbow. His head does a full 360. Uh, he's dead now. I just broke his neck. Um, his hands are super tight, but I think it's the way the cuffs are on his uh, his gloves. So he doesn't really get a full bend, but he still gets the rotation. And um, our, our legs go out. See, now it's also weird that he didn't have like full shoulders. Like, I don't know. I, I guess, again, supposed to be Dragon Ball Super. I have to keep that in mind. His head is loose, though. Uh, knee bend, just uh, you know, better than... 90 degrees, his foot forward a little bit, and then side to side, rotation and bend. So, you know, fairly articulated. Uh, 
just a little hole in the back here, but I guess they forgot to cover up that particular screw because there's a screw in there for the, the ankle tilt. But uh, decently enough, um, I don't know what it is with these figures, even in the Roto line. Um, I mean, the Dragon Ball Super Evolve line is like a, a year ahead of the Naruto line. So this is Wave 7, and there's, they just got Wave 3. Uh, so, you know, that's why things are the way they are. And then, they like, any advances they seem to make, they carry it over to the others. So at least they're learning from whatever the mistakes they're making out of this budget line. And as always, do not give these to your kids. They're not meant for children. They break too easily. I uh, had a long conversation in the uh, Yahoo, the Yahoo, uh, YouTube chats about uh, repairing these things because they do fall apart easily. Um, but considering how cheaply they're made, yeah, no duh, right? So, uh, head turns, off, it's not as loose as Vegeta's, but it's a little bit. Um, elbow all the way around, he got upper arm bend, and then he got full range in his um Wrists up and down, and then of course uh, um, his legs bend uh, just a little bit more than 90, and he, he has uh, foot forward a little bit. This little ropey thing around his uh, leg limits its uh, side to side inwards and rotation. Now I want to talk about real quick um, the lot. A lot of the problem I'm having is with the. The ab crunch and the waist uh, because like he has a belt here uh, uh, his other forms have like ripped shirts or whatever and then there is in the Naruto line uh, characters with other items uh, like Sasuke and his uh, tied up kimono whatever they um, they of course go on to the peg and then or like also in Broly's case he has the the ear uh, they go on to the peg and then the top of the torso goes on and it creates a little bit of resistance and I really wish you would have tolerated it, tolerated it better. I mean, fixed the tolerances on it uh, because uh, that would go a long way of keeping them on there. Luckily, these guys haven't fallen apart yet. Usually when I first mess with them before going into recording, I'll get something to fall apart. This wave so far has proven everything else wrong. So maybe they are learning their lesson when it comes to, um, you know, how these guys are better put together. Then again, these guys aren't very complicated to begin with. But, again, with the price rates, I think they're $12 now a piece, or uh, maybe 11 depending on where you go. I got these guys on Amazon, but they're also available in Big Bad Toy Store. I like them. It's still a good line. I wish they would do more than just Vegeta and Goku every wave. It would, it would be great. Um, then again, we did get Piccolo and Gohan in a wave with two Gohans, matter of fact. Um, so at least they're trying to mix it up, but uh, really, take a break from the Gokus and Vegetas. Move on to some other characters. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.